And we're back. All right, cool. Got some more water. Ready to go. Ooh, you've got mail. Wes, I'm gathering data on the correlation between soil alkalinity and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Cool. I'm about to have a ton of melons. I have a melon right now. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. So many things. Look at that gold corn. Oh, that's exciting. So many crops, too many crops. Oof. All right, done watering by 9 a.m. It's not terrible. Two gold corns. Oh, we need some more wheat. Bellatrix, you are right in my way. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Oh man, all four chickens are now producing eggs. That's sweet. And then, of course, the chickens do produce eggs in the same color that they are, um, because that's, that's just science. That's how that works. Just like chocolate milk comes from brown cows. We're giving a melon to a wizard. I just... What? 
What just happened? I just brought him a melon. How did I mess that up? Well, that sucks. He took it like it was a gift and not like it was a... Uh... Yeah, I guess fresh melon. Maybe he wants one, a new one that's grown after he gave me the quest, perhaps? Yeah, but he took it like a gift and not like a quest turn-in. So that's kind of annoying. But it's not the end of the world, because we do have 36 melons on their way. I think we're going to go into the, the mines here just for a little bit. I know it's already almost noon, but I just need to start collecting some more um, more iron. Some more stone, too, to be honest. Yeah, the, the wizard just, just took my melon, and he's like, now bring me another one. What a jerk. Oh, we're gonna go test out the uh, the dagger in the mines too. See how that goes for us. Yep, off to work we go, down in the mines. Time to stab some monsters. You can feel the weight of it, like it really pushes things back. Oh my god, it took forever to kill that dude though. Not sure if I like the dagger. Really, I should just go to the Adventurer's Guild and see which one will sell for more, and then use the other one. <laughs> the dagger might sell for more because it's a higher level. It's a level 4 weapon versus a level 3 weapon, which is my sword. There we go. So that is honestly what I'll probably do. Very stabby. But yeah, it's lots of little numbers instead of a couple big ones. Every once in a while, it crits for a lot, which is cool, but I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Because one of my struggles with the combat is already positioning. Probably won't keep it. But we're trying things. We're trying things. Oh, there was gold there. Fuck, I lost it. Coffee. Oh, a coffee bean. Is that ghost inside of me? I think that ghost was inside of me. Yeah, I fucking hate this dagger. Dagger can go, go to sword hell. I got a coffee bean, though. Oh, I'm so excited. So the coffee bean, the reason the coffee bean is exciting, because you saw that it's for sale, the little gypsy caravan, for uh, 2500 which isn't super prohibitive. But it's it's not chump change. It's and it's a, a weekly thing that the caravans there once a week, and it's kind of a rare drop, uh, so to speak. Like the caravan doesn't always have it. So that's one way to do the coffee bean. The coffee bean is also found deep here in the mines as a rare drop for monsters. Um, and the reason why the coffee bean is rare and why it's good to have, I just want to kill this fucking ghost. 
Ooh. Yeah, you're sad. Get over it. <laughs> the reason why the coffee bean is rare is because it's actually pretty powerful. Um, you just need one to kind of get it started, and then um, it's the same thing where it like makes a plant that produces... After it grows, it starts producing and keeps producing. Uh, and it does multiple coffee beans. And it's one of the few things where the item it produces is also the seed for that same plant. So you can just straight up plant those coffee beans to make more coffee plants. So that's pretty cool on its own. In addition, you can brew the coffee beans to make coffee, because that's how coffee's made. Um, and it's an item, it's a consumable item, it's like a food, that gives you a speed boost. So, you know, like how plodding and trudging the paces of the, the characters running? That's why. The coffee bean lets you run faster. Which seems really minor, but it's so important in a game like this where you are trying to get across town within a certain amount of time often. Just having that. Or like just watering your crops. Like just getting around faster. Oh, that slime's mad. He's an angry boy. That's a fertilizer. Wow, a ton of shit there. You're real low on health and energy. Don't like that. Yeah, I like the sword a lot better. We're going to stick with the sword. I'm glad I didn't sell it right away. What's all this over here? How do I get over there? Oh, right there. That's how. You walk there, dummy. Having a snack. That's a checkpoint. We're going up. Cool. Pop on over to the uh, Monster Slayers Guild over here. $150, Yeah, Crystal Dagger's worth more. We're selling that. Oh, look at these things. Oh my god. Minus four speed. I don't like that. Is that like my my personal speed? It's a lot of damage though. I don't know. I don't want to spend money on weapons because you usually just end up finding them anyway. And the one that we have is is good enough. Pretty successful little jaunt into the mines. Do I have more eggs? I feel like I have a ton more eggs. I do. I need to make some more mayonnaise machines. So, boom. Boom. Oh, we got all kinds of shit. Great. Great. 
great, great, great. Coffee bean. Plant in spring or summer. We only have eight days left. It doesn't say how long it takes to grow. I don't know how long it takes to grow. We are going to save this until next season. Or next year, actually. Until next spring. And that sucks. But I don't want to risk losing it. So, that's fine. We're just going to we'll sit on that and remember it. Get a little hardwood. That's cool. Frozen Geo. Wow, kind of Geodes. Alright. Start cooking this. A viewer raid? Oh my goodness. Freedom 4x4. Hey, a two viewer raid. That's awesome. How's it going? We're playing Stardew Valley. Thank you so much. I love. Oh, Jesus Christ. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm so shocked that I picked my spangles. Started. Okay, so I've played like. 180 hours or so of Stardew Valley, but several years ago. So this is like week three or so of me getting back into it. Um, and it's just a great little relaxing game. I love it so much. Oh, what are we doing with our lives? Okay, so I picked those spangles. That's fine. The one spangle there will still be enough to flavor that honey. <laughs> yeah, um, this is what I uh, did yesterday. It was a little bit of Overwatch, which isn't a hardcore FPS, obviously. Um, but Overwatch, it then relax with Stardew, and that's kind of it's kind of what we've been doing. Um, okay, so we're gonna save those. I can make some more sprinklers, which is cool. We got more iron cooking, so we can upgrade our tool. Save that. We're gonna go to the blacksmith. Oh yeah, um, I've never played Escape from Tarkov. Um, I have watched uh, Sacriel and Day9 play Escape from Tarkov. Uh, Sacriel's amazing, and Day9 is just a big goofball, um, especially with that game. So, yeah, I've watched them play that, and uh, it looks really fun. I don't know if I'd be any good at it, though, because that's usually not my jam. Hey, Blackhawk420, thanks for the follow. Uh, okay, oh, we got the keg. We got the keg. Okay, so that's really cool. That's what we're waiting on, because with the keg, you can start... Um, Brewing the beer from the hops, making coffee, making cider, making wine. The keg's super exciting. <laughs> My steel axe is ready. And there's more iron here. Wow, what a day. All right. Dear Wes, I ordered too much fertilizer for the garden. Bet you can put it to get some good use. Take care. I never use fertilizer, but thanks, Jody. You own a Tesla, so have a world Tesla, single power world. You have a world on the Tesla. I don't know what that means. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. go all right so i think we need to move this outside the coop this is cute to have the mayonnaise machine in there but it's just not working anymore because now i think we need another mayonnaise maker you can play it in your car that's so cool whoa i never thought about that because yeah like the tesla's just got like a tablet essentially interface for the dashboard wow Earth Crystal Copper Bar Stone. Okay, we can make another maintenance machine. Uh, Earth Crystal. Sweet. Okay, now we have two of those. That's good, because we have four chickens now, so we're making a lot of eggs. So let's just chunk those down. Egg, egg. Stardew Valley has a deal with Tesla. Oh, yeah, I played Fallout Shelter. That's fun, too. And Cuphead... I've seen people play Cuphead. It's a little too hardcore for me. Um, like, I don't do the Dark Souls or anything like that. I definitely see the appeal. I totally get it. Just not my kind of jam. Just not. Cuphead's an amazing game, though. It's so cool. Yeah, the co-op looks cool. Um, I'm just... 
I'm a little too twitchy sometimes with games. So stuff like that, like is re that's really uh, punishing to timing. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. Um, is ah, it's just it's just hard for me to, to handle usually. I don't know. I kind of been thinking about getting into to Dark Souls, just getting it over with. Like you know what, let's try it, but we'll see. Oops, I forgot to open my chicken coop. Come on out, little girls. All right. That's wild that you can play Tarkov on your Tesla, though. That's so cool. What a time to be alive. Oops, I had that tree just grow right there. Oh, I love Minecraft. Um, I was an early adopter for Minecraft back in Alpha. Um, which is like, whoa, God, like 2008, 2009, something like that now. Yeah, Minecraft is great. Stardew Minecraft, uh, kind of similar vein, but not quite the same. Uh, Factorio, Satisfactory, those are all some of my favorites. Yeah. For FPS, I never really did like hardcore FPS. Like Overwatch is about as hardcore as I get with the first persons. I don't know, a friend of mine is trying to get me to play uh, Rainbow Six Siege on stream. Which I might do. I might give it a shot. I want to try new games. I like new games. Did I water that one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, man. We have so many things in the pockets. Okay, so let's go take care of some of this. This tree is bugging me, but I don't have an axe. Valorant, yeah. Um, I tried playing Valorant. Uh, I like installed it and played a little bit, and I don't know. I didn't really get too far into it, so maybe I'll go back to it. Um, but yeah, Valorant and Apex Legends for sure. Like I played Apex on my Xbox for a little bit, and I have it here on Steam as well. Um, and I know that's where the viewers are, but I don't know. Like I'd rather just play the game that I want to play. Like what you're saying with Tarkov, like the viewers aren't necessarily there, but like, you know, just uh, play what you want and your people will find you. Do I need the tomatoes? I think I chipped all the tomatoes I need. Yeah, okay, so we're still waiting on five star corn and then five star melons. Melons should be done in a couple days. Exactly. Have fun. They will come. A lot of people I've noticed treat streaming as the product is uh, the game you're playing, and that's not true. The product is you. You, your personality, yourself, you are the product. And, you know, some products are better than others, but, uh, and it's, you know, networking and, and advertising is part of it too. Um, but it's the game that you're playing helps because if you're playing a popular game, people are going to search for, like, oh, I want to see Valorant, um, then obviously you're going to you're going to be on the radar. But... Co-op world is half through winter, and what item away from greenhouse? I've never played this co-op. Um, it's something that I... I don't know, I think it would be fun. Um, the greenhouse. Oh, the greenhouse is so good. I cannot wait to get my greenhouse. When I get a greenhouse, what I do is... Um, so these right here are apple trees that I started... Uh, about halfway through summer, so they'll be ready about halfway through fall, and I'll get them for the last couple weeks of fall, and they'll stick through next year. But what I do with the, the greenhouse, once I get the greenhouse, is I'll put my orchard in there with the seasonal trees, um, because they can grow all year long, and then you just get fruit all year, and then you have a ton of the, uh, the kegs to make wine and cider. Oh, okay, so the co-op Stardew, it's in real time? Is that what I'm understanding from that? Oak resin. Okay, we have oak resin. Almost oak resin. Like it's uh has persistent game time. Look at that. We gotta go to the blacksmith. 
I don't know about that stuff. Let's put that in with this box just to save on room. All right. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Just the time zone difference. Okay. I can imagine you can have some pretty crazy farm setups with multiple people playing this game. Because one of the things that is prohibitive and kind of restricting is just the time it takes to water all the damn crops. Um, but if you can kind of divide and conquer in, in that way, it's a lot like uh, the real world, I suppose, when farming was a thing. Farming still is a thing. But it's why you saw back in the day, uh, farming families had a million kids so they could all help run the farm. What's my fishing at? Only three. I don't do a lot of fishing. Steel axe, hell yes. Alright, we're gonna do the pick now. And I guess, yeah, if you you kind of focus on mining or fishing and your wife does the farming, that's great division of labor. And it's one of the benefits of playing this co-op, I suppose. What did I just get? Gunther, Gunther, alright, cool. Hi, please. Not the watering can, not yet. Yeah, 21st. Yeah, pickaxe. Do it. Hell yes. Good, we can get rid of that pesky tree. Hello, Gunther. back. Need some more wood. Hi, Abigail? Yeah. Do you want a flower, Abigail? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Abigail's bugged where everything you give her, uh, she thinks is food. Which is hilarious because she usually requests items like rocks and gems, so she eats them. I haven't decided who I am going to pursue romantically in this this playthrough yet. Um, Abigail's a solid choice. I actually really like Haley's redemption story. Not redemption, but like her, her kind of character arc. <laughs> Willie, yeah, Willie. Give me those fish. Um, I like Haley's kind of her character arc of going from uh, bratty city city woman to farmer's wife. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to really just focus on my farm. Oh, that's that. Yeah, Penny's cool too. The problem is my mom's name is Penny, so I don't know. <laughs> I like Leah. Nice little outdoorsy lady. I chopped that the wrong way. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, look at all that loot. Oh, well. Oh, well. Now, do I need to ship an ice cream? Cooking. I do. Look at that right there. Ship it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, but let's, uh, let's get some more wood. We got some time left in the day, got some energy left. What did it take to make those tappers? Wood and copper. Okay. I think we have both of those. Alright, thanks! Uh, I really appreciate the raid, appreciate the follow. 
hope you have a good night. Thanks. NB Nicholas, thank you for the follow. How you doing? We're just playing Stardew Valley here. Where are we at? 236. Okay, we're doing good. Can I get those from the other side? Yes, I can. Fantastic. It's like magic. All right, so I think what I want to do is kind of prep a little sap orchard. I think that's what I want. And I think I'm going to put it down here. Oh, that was bad. I spaced that very poorly. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, shit. Hold on. I have a better axe. Can I take care of these now? Yes. Hell yes, I can. Oh, that's cool. All right. All right, 45. Okay. Can I do this one, too? Yes. I forgot that I upgraded this. I just did it, too. All right. Let's cut it from this side so we don't lose this. Oh, we can get rid of the other one up there, too, that's really causing us headache. That's sweet. Okay. All right, so let's try that again. So we're going to put an acorn there. Skip to acorn there. Skip to acorn. Skip to maple. All right, cool. So now we'll have an orchard down here um, for collecting sap, because right now our three tappers are kind of spread out, and I don't, I don't like that. So we got one up there, and then we have the other two flavors of tree down here. I don't like that they're spread out. I like being able to kind of see them ready to go um, closer to the main production. This is a mess right here, so we're going to ignore that for now. <laughs> and then we're going to worry about that next year. This is this is a mess. Oh, look at that. Oh! <gasps> hardwood, hardwood, hardwood. We can turn that in right now. Not that one. That one. Oh my god, we're doing that. Oh, do I have anything else I can go to the community center while I'm making the trip? I don't think so. I do. Oh, I, I do. I have the solar essence. Oh, I had frozen tear and I sold it. Why did I do that? Winter for now. Uh, we will have those two momentarily. And by momentarily, I mean probably in the next couple days. That we're going to have to wait on, obviously, because it's not fall. Um, this one. Nope, not that one. This one. There we go. All right. We're going to complete two bundles right now. Super exciting. I think it's up here? No. 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 I think it's down here.
What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? A charcoal kiln. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That is useful because we want that charcoal for making the um, preserves jars. So that's actually pretty nice. Adventurer's bundle. Turn that shit in. Hell yeah. Small. Ma oh, a magnet ring. Can I have two rings? Is this D&D? It is. Sweet. All right, cool. So it uh, increases your radius for collecting items. I love it. That's great. That's very exciting. Okay, let's head on back. Plunk down that charcoal kiln. And then we take stock of uh, charcoal, wood, and stone. And then maybe make another preserves jar and start churning that out, making that money. You know what? I don't like this here anymore. I've changed my mind. But they can't go next to each other? What? Well, it can't go next. All right, whatever. I don't I don't understand what's going on there. There you go, right there. Okay, cool. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Not enough stone. Lots of coal, though. Well, not lots. Some coal, though. Hot pepper jelly. Into the bin. You go away. Okay. That's a day. Hi, right, what are you doing over here? You need to not mess around with that, please. Oh, you dummy. I know. I know. What do we make today? Okay, so the honey's 280. Um... I really should have, after selling the first Spangle, tried another one with a different flavor flower. And we'll just make another. Grape jelly's pretty good. That gold mayonnaise, though. That's good. Alright. You're being ridiculous. What's your deal? Hmm? Oh, no. You're so dumb. Yeah, I know. Wait, my apple tree wasn't able to grow. Hold up. All right, sissy, I gotta put you down. Yep. Why? Oh, because of this shit. The grass prevents it from growing. Oh, that's annoying. At least I hope it's that. All right, that's fine. Um, it is, however, raining, which is the best thing. Oops. All right, well. Oh. <laughs> yes, my three cats are named after the Black Sisters. Uh, well, well observed. That was Narcissa that we just had on screen. Uh, Bellatrix is usually the one that climbs... Oh, no, that's Sissy again. That climbs up on my desk while I'm streaming. Um, and then Andromeda is typically just kind of derping around on her own. Um, but I did name the in-game cat after her. Yeah, and they're all three sisters, and their personalities fit pretty well to their namesakes. This is Sissy's butt right now on camera. 
What are you doing, sweetie? Don't, don't scythe the chickens, oh my god. Uh, where'd my hay go? I had hay, there it is. Okay, sissy, honey, what are you doing? Love it when it rains. Okay, so my theory about the crab pots leveling up internally uh, appears to not hold a lot of water. Um, just because that was two trashes that time. Maybe it's it just increases the chance. Okay, what do we have? Uh, we'll just 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 doesn't matter. We'll just do stuff. Sissy, please don't rub against the microphone. Alright, see the uh, the lightning rod over here is cooking now? That's pretty cool. That's going to pop out a battery. Which is used for things. Alright, sissy, honey, what are you doing? What's going on? Huh? Go on. Messing up my setup? Alright, we're good. This very professional uh, audio setup that I have is just ruined now by the presence of the cat. Hey, there we go. Cats do make everything better. That is true. Oh, look. That one's already going, too. I need to make some more bait. Steak, gross. I think it's enough. Oh, we have the better axe. We can go to that secret part of the forest. Oh, oh, hold on. This is good. This is ready. This is ready. That one's ready, but that one's not. What the hell? All right, whatever. Secret forest. Secret, secret tunnel. Uh, the problem that I'm having right now is that I'm combining two references together in my head. <laughs> so yeah, there's secret tunnel through the mountains, uh, which is a great reference and one that most people should get. But the other reference that I'm making at the same time is uh, there was an old website that is apparently still around and doing stuff called homestarrunner.com. Um, an old Flash website, and they did make the tr transition to post-Flash world, but they kind of fell off in popularity. Anyway, um, <laughs> they put out a, a CD 
because that was something you did in the mid 2000s. Um, and on this CD of music sung by the characters featured in the Flash website, there was a secret song at the end of, of the CD, which is also something you used to do on albums. Um, and it was one of the characters singing about the song being a secret song. Um, so that's what just went through my head, if anyone cared. So this is the little secret secret area of the forest. Lots of hardwood, um, slimes to fight. There's this weird like little temply ruiny thing, which I have no idea what it does. Uh, this is Bellatrix right here, also. Hi, Bellatrix. Um, and then there's a little pond, and it's raining, and we have a shitty pond or shitty hole. So I don't know if we're gonna catch a good fish. So far, looking pretty good. Not going for the treasure, just going for the fish. All right. Carp. Oh, someone wanted a carp, and I did not accept the quest. It's fine. It does look kind of like a gorilla statue. I'm not sure what it is. Let me look at it. Another carp. Okay. Uh, I think it's like an old man with like a mustache crouched down in a robe. Or it's a gorilla. It might be both. It might be an old gorilla with a mustache crouched down in a robe. This is very exciting. Oh, nailed it. Three carps. All right, we also picked up uh, some fiddlehead ferns, which... Oh, what the hell? A mahogany seed? A mahogany tree? That wasn't in the game last time I played. Okay. Um, fiddlehead fern is something that is needed for... Not you. One of these. One of these. Not you. I don't know what the mahogany tree is all about. I guess we should plant it and find out. Oh, carp needs to go in there. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. That's just money. Oh, we can do one of those. Oh, we can do that, except for the apple. We should do that. There it is, Chef's Bundle. Oh, we get the maple syrup pretty often. And the pot, we had poppies. Alright, we're going to go figure out how long it takes for a poppy to grow. Let's do that right fast. If it's less than six days, we're going to plant a poppy real fast. Because I think it's a summer crop only, and I don't want to miss that window until next year. we got to get to the store before it closes, though. Which we might already be too late. See? Coffee. Need coffee. This stream brought to you by coffee. Normally I'd uh, stop to smell the trash, but not going to do it this time. Straight to the store. Oh my god, we made it. It's a good day to shop. Yeah, you would say that. Poppy, seven days. Well, that's too bad. What? Why are you meowing at me? What do you want? I already fed you. You're done. Alright. Let's put the carp in here. We'll do one of the fiddlehead ferns. 
There we go. Mahogany seed. I'm really blown away by that. I didn't realize there was so much new stuff. Oh, crap. And wine. Okay. Oh, goodness. There's two cats now. Hi. Oh, sunflower needs to go here. Oh, mushroom. Cool. Okay, all right, okay. Chub, not a shell, purple mushroom. All right, okay, we're making progress. Purchase. What do I get? Cake. I don't want cake. It's expensive cake. What? What are you doing? You're so weird. Oh, all kinds of stuff. That's a rock. Alright. Uh, mayonnaise. Ooh, we're full. Let's dump some stuff first. Bum, bum, bum. I almost sold that on accident. That'd be bad. Vegetable. Can I pickle it? Will it blend? Yeah, no more poppies. I had my poppies down here. Oh, that's very annoying. Oops. I want to just plant this mahogany seed. I don't know. I don't know if that's a bad idea. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right there. We're gonna find out. Could be a bad idea. It doesn't say which season it grows in, so it might not matter. All right. So pine tar. Oh, did the pine tar go in one of those stupid things? I bet it did. I bet I was just there. And I could have put the pine tar in. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. We got a lot of that. We got that. Uh, we'll ship one cake. Just because, you know, for completion's sake. Okay. All right. Um. What else? What else? What else? I think I need to ship the tar. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna get more. That's the first one. That's okay. Put all this in here. Ba 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 ba. We're gonna chop some more of these big old stumps. I don't have a pick. Ah! That's okay. Like you walk slower in the grass. How have I never noticed that before? Another mahogany seed. What the heck? 
We're going to plant that one right here. We're going to have two mahogany trees. That's fantastic. Don't know what they do. No idea. Wow, look at all these pine trees over here. That's that's insane. Oh, I should go check my my uh, lightning rod. And we'll probably go to bed. Cause it's about that time. Put that in there, and there, and there, and there. Okay. Not ready yet. It will be tomorrow, though, I'm sure. Oh, I want to unsell that pine tar. Yes. better stock of this. What do we have in here? Three of those. Let's just, uh, put it. there we go. Okay. Okay. Wood and, t I only have one copper. Ah, stop it. That one. One copper. All right, so we got to go into the mines and the copper levels and get some copper. Did we pet the cat? We did. Okay. Okay. Cake was 200 golds. Summer Spangle, Grape Jelly, Gold Mayonnaise, man, that's good. Pretty cool. What? Oh, it's rainy again, and the Steel Pickaxe is ready. What a perfect time to quit the game. Let's see if we can... There she is. Look at her there. What a dummy. What are you doing? Oh, I've messed up the camera now. Oh, I've ruined everything. What a professional stream. There we go. What are you doing, dummy? Oh, I know. There you go. All right. Um, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Let me just adjust that again. Okay, here we are. Um, we got raided tonight. That's pretty exciting. We got a couple new followers. We've made some good progress on our farm. Upgraded two tools, I think, tonight. Three, maybe? Jeez, what a lot of progress. Um, we'll be back next Tuesday for some more Overwatch. Doing the anniversary event. Try to get some of those skins. Um, and then maybe a little bit of Stardew later in the evening. And next Thursday, not tomorrow, next Thursday, back for more Stardew Valley. And I think next week is the last week for that Overwatch event. So after that, we're going to go back to Twilight Princess. Because my graphics card is up and running. I've got a, uh, whoops, a USB GameCube controller, so I can actually play it with the controller that the, the game wants me to, um, so hopefully that'll help with me hitting the wrong button on everything. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and joining us, and uh, we'll see you next Tuesday.